I'll give you a little thought experiment here. Imagine you turn up to buy a second-hand car and you go and look at the car and it's parked outside the guy's house and it looks pretty good. And then you go and knock on the door of the person selling it. Now, in one universe, it's opened by a vicar. And in another parallel universe, it's opened by a man standing there in his underpants. Now, I'd argue in the first universe, the price you're prepared to pay would go up 20%. And in the second universe, effectively decide not to buy the car at any price. What's going on here is interesting. You know, most of the people would probably construct a story saying, I didn't really like the look of the car, or I wasn't... Now, what, what's bothering you there is that in the one case, you have someone who is probably more likely to be honest. In the second case, you have a man there who's patently invulnerable to shame. We override product-based decisions with judgments about humans. We haven't had much evolutionary experience of sizing up second-hand cars. We've had a lot of evolutionary experience of sizing up people. And those would influence our decision-making to a degree far greater than we would ever readily admit.